Hello viewers and welcome to my next video. Today's video is about the art of arranging music. Uh, so if you are working on a song right now or you know writing something, uh, hopefully this video will give you some good ideas uh, you know and will show you that you can actually experiment quite a lot with with the same uh, musical idea. Uh, and you can turn it into something that sounds really, really cool. Uh, and you can look at it from various perspectives. Okay. Uh, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to use a song that I have been recently working on. Um, and this song is actually going to be uh, released uh, on my solo album, which I will be uh, publishing uh, later this year. And I thought it was a good idea to use this particular song because in this song I have actually been experimenting uh, quite a lot uh, and uh, recording, uh, you know, various guitar tracks to see how they fit with, with the bass riff and the drums and see how, how it all sort of uh, fits together. Okay, so uh, let's get to it. I'm going to uh, share my screen with you and show you what I'm working on. So uh, this is my uh, door, and as you can see, uh, the song is called Self Rediscovery, uh, and this is the song that will end up, as I already mentioned, on my on my solo record. So uh, let's start from just playing you the basic riff that I actually came up with, uh, and initially, and uh, this is just uh, the bass riff. Uh, so this is just I'm just going to play that with the drums. Uh, so have a listen. <laughs> So this is the basis, this is the foundation of the song. I just wrote that bass riff and I thought, you know, uh, what else uh, can I do uh, with it? What, what can I add to it? For example, how can the guitar uh, sound? So first of all, what I did, I just uh, recorded some basic clean guitar chords. Uh, these actually sound quite jazzy. Uh, you, will, you will hear in a minute what I mean. So let's listen to the same riff with those guitar chords. So there you go. Uh, this is now the drums, bass and guitar, uh, clean guitar chords. So uh, later on, what I've decided to do uh, as well is to, you know, connect the wah pedal and see if I can sort of funk it up a little bit and see if I can add some wah uh, guitar effect and what that would sound like. So let's listen to the same riff with those clean guitar chords and the wawa and the wawa guitar chords together. So there you go. Uh, you can straight away hear a massive difference, and there's a massive difference in the in the feeling and the emotion of of the of the of the riff, uh, depending on uh, how it's actually played on the guitar itself. Uh, so let's try it with and without the wawa. The 
Okay, so there you go. Those are the two variations that I've used. These are not the only two variations and I'm just going to demonstrate that in a minute. So the idea is that this song starts from the verse, sorry, from the chorus and then goes into, into a verse. So that's kind of the, you know, structure of the song and how, how that's going to uh, look like. So if I actually, let's unmute these Wawa guitars and let's go into from the chorus that I've, the introducing chorus part, uh, let's go into the verse and just have a listen what they sound like together. Alright, so in the verse, uh, you can you can hear again uh, the the wah pedal actually the wah guitar sorry uh, continues throughout. So let's just hear it. If 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 it wasn't there. So again, we can leave it uh, quite straight. You know, we don't we don't need to add a lot of embellishments, but we can do if we want to. So again, you have choices, uh, and again, this is all about experimenting and uh, using different ideas in the, in the same in the same song and and sometimes in the same riff, verse, chorus, whatever that might be. Uh, so. Actually, I did something else here as well. Uh, so you've got those guitars. Uh, I'm just going to switch off the wah wah for a sec. Uh, and we've got we've got those uh, guitars that are basically going together with the bass riff in the verse. So basically, just the guitar is just basically playing the same notes as the bass, just just an octave higher. Now, I'm going to play you something that I've come up with, which was a completely different idea for the same verse. So, uh, different guitar melody altogether. Just have a listen. So there you go. Uh, so that's already that that has put a completely different spin onto that verse. I think, uh, you know, and to to a listener, uh, I think it will it will provide a completely different type of of emotion. Uh, so let's see if we can combine these. Uh, let's play. Let's actually start from the from the basic stuff that I started with. Add the wah wah. another extra guitar right so there you go uh, I'm not sure whether they actually all go together uh, I, I might make some choices here 
you know, uh, later on. I, I might use, uh, you know, one guitar melody in the first verse and, this, and another guitar melody in the second verse. And again, uh, those are the things that you can do with, uh, with your own tracks as well. So you don't have to, you know, cram everything uh, straight away. You know, sometimes it's good to introduce a listener uh, to new aspects of the song uh, as the song sort of progresses. So let's just keep the basic guitar melody with the wawa for, for now. And I'm just going to show you now what I've done uh, later on in the song. So actually that is exactly what I've just been talking about. So building a song up uh, all the way throughout. So, so we don't re reveal everything straight away. What you've got, you know, these ideas that you've got. So let's play the song from the beginning again. So as you can hear, it stands on a quite light note, uh, quite chill, chilled out uh, riff with, with the wah-wah pedal going on. And then it enters the verse. Now you can hear what I've done there. I've added distorted heavy guitars to the second chorus. And again, it drops back into that sort of lighter aspect of the song. So again, this is just to show you and demonstrate what you can do. So, you know, you can have something, uh, you know, starting on a lighter note and then spice it up uh, with something heavier, you know, maybe add some distorted guitars, maybe add different uh, guitar melodies, uh, like like I did in the, in the verse, uh, for example, as well, you know. So, like I said, you can have, you know, you can have one verse going on like this. And another verse, maybe later on in the song, going like that. So that's it for this particular video today. Uh, I, I hope that you've enjoyed this. Uh, and if you like it, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, and I really hope that this will help you with your own songwriting ideas and how you can experiment with different musical arrangements. Uh, and uh, please subscribe to my channel. And uh, don't forget about that. And I'll see you next time.